Alright, so they say crime doesn't pay. Well, I would say crime does pay, you just need to know how to play crime. Alright, so today we're going to talk about Lord Kane. He's, like, in a, in a nutshell, he's offensive monster, command grabbing you all day. He's got a decent little bit of zoning and he's got some YOLO aspects to him. So yeah, we'll just break him down, see what he's good at, see what he's bad at. See how to play as him and against him, and yeah, let's have a look at this. First things first, most important string that you have to know is Lord Kane, forward one, two, back two, all right? Plus two on block, which means your opponent blocks it, you get to check them with down one. If they try and mash, they get hit, and then you loop the situation again. So they get hit, all right, let's see, down one, seven frames, plus 15 on uh, hit, forward one's 13, so you got two frames to do that before they can even begin to start moving so yeah you do you do your string do your down one if it hits you get to do it again this is the the most simple like level of his offense the first hit of the string is also plus one which means that against anyone without a six frame poke you also get that down one check so there's two points in this string where you get a down one check after your opponent blocks that part of the string so you have this, and you got this. This is part of the string that ends in the overhead. Will always leave you so close that both players have to play the down one game. It's not like some other characters where you could block this, and they might be able to backdash or whatever, and then bait your poke. Sort of like how I said in the Scorpion uh, video where he does two one on block, backdashes, baits your poke, and punishes you for that. Lord Kane doesn't have that luxury, so you always are committing to the game of am I going to down one or not? Because if they press and um, and you try something else, like you try to string again, they're going to win. So you, you're always in this little rock, paper, scissor game. However, there are other aspects to this game, right? So if they're respecting your down one, now you have the opportunity to command grab them. So this also comes out in 13 frames, which makes the forward one and the command grab a zero frame mix up they come out on the same frame so you, you you're guessing every time they're within the range of the command grab which is the uh, shorter range move so like this every time it's just a guess between these two and you have to duck or jump the command grab but if you duck or jump the mid you get a conversion so every time you're, you're guessing on eating something so the idea here is you want to just pick the option that they're least likely to take. I mean, they're more likely to take. Least likely to take, almost. Yeah, just pick the option that they're least likely to take and get punished for it every time. Like, you pick the option that they're more likely to take. So you have to be aware of how your opponent reacts to things. Yeah. That's the, the fundamental level of this. So you're going to always be equipping command grab with, with him as well because... There's no reason not to. His normal throws don't compare to his command grab. Other than the fact they got crushing blows on them, they don't give him like the advantage he needs to be able to get this perfectly every time. It, it also kind of depends on the character as well, because a lot of characters you can just backdash out of it. It's like on wake up, they'll get thrown backdash out of something. Same applies to his command grab, but this is less. Like there's less characters that can do this because he leaves you closer. And also, on top of that, because it's a command grab, they have no option to escape it if they get hit by it. They have to take it at that point. There's no teching it. There's no like other layer of defense. You have to jump or you have to duck. That's, that's their options. You're making them commit. So if you make them commit, it makes the other side of your offense scarier because if you have to duck or jump, now, now like, you're, you're basically surrendering this to them. So just keep that in mind. Make them surrender to the other option. That's what I'm trying to say. Lord Kane is dirty like that. He, he makes you pick an option. It's like, okay, you got to take the red pill or the blue pill. You know, you can take the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours. But it ain't a good choice either way. So, you know, pick your poison. Although I'm saying that, like, yeah, just, do, just get in there and do forward one and make them guess on the down one or command grab. Kane is actually also really good at playing uh, a mid-range game because of his forward one and his knife as well and the command grab. So the knife, you know, 20 frame projectile, but 
even from this distance, is zero. So, like, the, the further out it, you throw it, the more plus it becomes. So, essentially, you can just throw a knife, knife, knife. They're all highs. They'll probably get people to duck, but by making them duck, you're kind of getting them to sit in place. So, in that same in that same time you threw the knife, they could just be ducking, waiting for a knife, and then you can dash up, get a bit closer for the forward one. Or you could get a bit further away for more knives. It's up to you, really. It depends on the mat drop. But if, let's say you're against like a Kotal or something, you could use the knife, like you could get him to either duck or block the knife, back up outside of his forward two range, and smack him for it, for whiffing. Like, this is what I'm saying, like this move is, it's a really good whiff punisher. So like you can whiff punish low pokes, big swinging normals, whatever with it. It's, it's pretty much an all purpose tool. So like, I feel with, Lord Kane, you don't even need that many other moves than him. You just need forward one, down one, command grab, and you can actually play like a pretty complete game and one one as you punish, like in some scenarios. So yeah, that's pretty much where I use one one. It's just like it's a punish and eight frame standing punish on something that this won't punish. Everything else that he's got, I think, yeah, okay, you got two two. It's alright, but. This is probably um, it's probably more for um, punishing things that are a bit further out that one one won't reach and forward one can't punish in time. And then let's see, we got back one, but that's pretty much only for armor break, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's okay to like just do the check in some scenarios, but it's not a guaranteed check in these scenarios because you're plus two and it's ten frames, therefore it comes out in eight, so they can mash in seven and still win. But with those, with that seven frame normal, they'd be mashing in that scenario. You'd have been able to get your seven frame normal out because you'd have been two frames faster than that. Still, if that makes sense. All right. Uh, let's see. What else have we got with him? He's got this forward three. It's a minus thirteen low profiling advancing roll that causes a knockdown. You'll see a lot of game players doing things like this, trying to get in that forward four, forward three, whatever. Thing with forward three is if they've got um, if they've got a mid that's twelve frames or faster or low or whatever, they can full combo you. However, if they don't, like let's say Sonya here, she doesn't have a punish for that sort of thing. So her best option would be grab, like reversal grab will punish. Right, I'll show you. See reversal throw punish. So you can do that, or she could do like low poke, which will be a punish give her advantage to then do like her back one string which would give her a mix up or something like that so there are a couple of things to do with that it's overhead is reactable but it's going to be harder to react to online so good luck with that um yeah i think that's pretty much all the normals you're going to see with him that are used he doesn't have too many moves in general he's got um this string that the, they'll all use when they have uh, manhandled. We'll go over that in a second, actually. So you've equipped manhandled to your Kano, Lord Kane, and he now has a string 2-4 grab, which is a launcher, starts off with his 9 frame high, leads into decent damage. Um, but there's some drawbacks to the string. So if you flawless block the last hit, you get a jab punish. As you can see, he's on your here doing a little chunk. So this is basically this flawless block timing is going to be useful for two reasons. Because it's an option select, which means you're doing one thing that deals with multiple of their options. So they can also do, well, in theory, they'd want to be able to do 2-4 command grab as well. Because it ticks. The idea here would be that you block the string so therefore because you're blocking they'd want you to take the grab but if you flawless block the string you're also ducking the grab at the same time because you have to release block to flawless block and you're crouch blocking anyway so it ducks the grab as you can see what right? so this is me like trying to flawless block the string you get the same punish all right so you duck duck the grab and get your punish that's covering multiple options by doing one thing and I'll prove it, alright? Uh, we'll get it to play it back hidden, random. I'm gonna just attempt to flawless block everything. See? Duck the grab. Duck the grab again. Duck the grab. Okay, I'll punish it as well, yeah. Duck the grab. 
Start with the grab. Yeah. Do the other string, Leah. You even doing? You are. Do the do the string. Thank you. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. See, you can punish both by doing the same thing. That's how you option select that string. But if you're the cane player, you have another option. So let me just uh, show you what I'm on about. This here into acid actually jails. It jails against. I think it doesn't jail against everyone. I can't remember if it jails against everyone, but I know it jails against Sonya here. So, um, yeah, we'll get her to to block this. All right. What you need to do for this is um, need a fast advancing attack like Sonya's back one, something like that. See, we get a combo there. So ultimately, there's there's risk to everything in this string. I don't really. I don't really advise using this string, but some people like using it, so th this is the game around it. You can also fill that gap with, instead of acid, with, you know, you know the suck, just attempt to suck them off, off of that string, but that's even more risky and even more insane, but, you know, you play you play this character, you're probably risky and insane anyway, so you do you. You do you. But yeah, this is how this string works, and we'll move on to the next thing to talk about. Okay, let's have a quick rundown. Of Lord Kane's special moves, because you know that people are going to be throwing out all sorts of lunatic, just why are you doing it sort of moves. Okay, so we got the Kane Ball, Kane Ball. Both hits of these are unsafe, as you can see. Hold on, right. So yes, yeah, minus 19, punish with whatever you want. That's minus 12, almost punish with whatever you want. Um, you got the same move, but from the air, minus 21. 21. Um, yeah, people will do this, right? It's minus eight, but oh, and it's a mid, right? It's not actually a mid. So what you do here is, I'll record him doing it. Observe. Say they do this and they do that, right? You can actually duck the second hit of it and punish. See? So you duck, wait for you to get up, punish into whatever your combo is, whatever your character is. Try that for, stop that. All right, so yeah, he's got he's got these moves. Um, let's see, some people play like uh, Vagery Mighty Kano. So Vagery Mighty is a move that he, he, go, he, you know, he goes, yo, what's up? And then he uh, becomes like armored on some of his specials. So let's record him doing that. What's that say? So, uh, uh, now you'll see that this lets him basically blast through moves because he's got armor. So you want to be a bit more wary when he's got that activated about like, how you're going to throw projectiles at him. But the game is, like, uh, okay, yeah, you can go through the projectile, but you just then start throwing projectiles from a range where you can't react, and then he might just cane ball you through that, and then you still get a punish the same way you do against the... Uh, Moves normally, as you can see, punish, right? Or like whatever you want, really, punish. So that's the way that works. You'll also see people doing things like this. They'll do like, stuff like that, which is also a punish. That's that's like really gimmicky, and they'll still press buttons after it. They're trying to rob you for doing that. Like they'll do things like this. Like okay, that's safe, but don't let them do two four into that. You still get, um, like, because they're minus four there, you get your throw attempt because he doesn't have a six frame, so the game is in your favor in that scenario. But I don't see why you do that really when you can just be minus two and a little bit further back. So, like, that's up to you. You can play that if you want, if you really want the armor activation, like the, the potential to armor, then yeah, go ahead. Um, what other moves he's got? He's got, oh, this, uh, Change his variation again. This move is actually really good. Um, the suck, right? Like the suck is 14 frames, and it, it's 14 frames no matter where it hits. So what that means is like uh, let me just, the biomagnetic pull, right? So yeah, see, it starts up at 14, but it. That whole distance it come it covers in 14 frames. Most moves, like let's say Sonya's projectile, 
star second 12, but it's not hitting on the 12th frame because it's got travel distance. This move doesn't add travel distance, so like, if you're within range and you're minus 14, it gets to punish you. So a really good example for this would be um, against Cetrion. Cetrion's got like beam, she's got rock wall, got ground pound, she's got a bunch of things that you can um, that you can punish that would normally be like next to impossible for him to do. So we pick Cetrion. Just get in. Pick Lord Kane. Dangly balls. Okay, she does ground pound. He does bio pull. So even from that distance, right? She does beam. She does bio pull. She does I think even EX beam. She went range. Trying to get in range, right? Yeah, see, he does bio pull, right? So, all these things. Oh, actually, bio pull is also good against rock, but in a different way. Like, she throws rock, like, you see the rock start up as you're in range. Bio pull. So, this is this is a good thing for this matchup in particular, actually. Um, yeah, basically, my point here is bio pull is like a god special in this game. And it like, gives you a full combo as well. So, you go bio pull, back two, one one, forward two, command grab. Like, his usual combo. So that's good. That's really good actually. And you also get a free armor break attempt as well because back two gives you back one. So if they break, it's perfectly timed. So you can always do like a combo into Fatal Blow with him as well. That's another good thing he's got. You can go like Fatal Blow off that back one. I'll just show you. Alright. Yeah. Alright, okay. So does that, does that, boom, Fatal Blow. See? So you always get these sort of things, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much like the special moves you're going to see. You're going to see people cane balling all over the place. You're going to see people using the suck. Maybe some of them will use it like recklessly, but they shouldn't. But they they might do. You're going to see the command grab. Uh, I'm going to talk about that a bit more like on its own though, because I think that's probably his most important special move. Uh, you're going to see the acid. But I've been over the acid, like the acid you basically just you punish it if you can, if you can't then you pretty much just gotta hold it. And um You're gonna see the knife toss as well. The knife toss I've been over, so you know. Just throw the knife. It's a fast projectile, it's not it's not it's not um it's not an impressive projectile, but it is a decent projectile. So just don't forget that you got it. Okay. So the philosophy of playing this character is essentially you've got 13 frames, you've got 13 frames. You want them to believe that you're going to abuse one of these options, right? So if you want this to hit, if you want this to hit, you have to be making them believe that this is coming in that same scenario. So typically you'd just be like command grabbing them, you command grabbing them, and then you'd be command grabbing them. And you might even command grab them again. And now they're gonna like, okay, he's gonna command grab me, so you forward one of them, right? And now you get now you get collect your free damage because they're conditioned. It's all about conditioning them for one side of your option. It's better to play this way, in my opinion, than it is to do stuff like yeah, I'm just gonna YOLO Cable, YOLO this, YOLO that. Like this move here, bad, it's like minus fourteen. I see some some people like trying to play a game of doing this or that or just, it's just like, why are you going to risk that when you've got plus two? You want them to be playing on your terms, not playing on some... Okay, this may, even if this is on your terms, why would you do that when you can keep them on your terms with moves like this? So just keep them on your terms. And if you have to take a risk, which everyone's got to take a risk in MK11, like the risk is universally a grab. So if you're going to be grabbing, use the command grab. And use it to such an effect that they think you're an idiot essentially that's pretty much that's pretty much the way you play it and then uh let's see oh yeah another thing i should bring up is in the corner you'll do like you'll do your launcher you'll do your combo back one acid same thing here you get dash up grab or, or uh, forward one again so this can uh, loop itself if they believe the command grab's coming after you want to restand them like that, typically in the corner, just just to make it more annoying for them. That's the philosophy of playing him. Now I'm going to talk about like what what kind of gives him a hard time. Okay, 
Okay, so the effectiveness of this character is dependent on his forward one. He he relies on it too much. So this is plus one on block. We've established that. This you can confirm into damage because it's two hits. And this you use to keep your offense going because there's advantage on block. However, a character like Jackie has a luxury that not many have, right? So you can duck the spit into that, right? So what this means is now his, pretty much his whole game plan has been thrown out the window. He's got a lot less tools to work with. And there's plenty of characters. Well, I wouldn't say plenty. There's a handful of characters that can actually duck the spit like that. There's, um, just thinking off the top of my head, Garrus, Jackie, Katana, Nightwolf, Johnny, Joker, Kano himself. Um, I think that might be it. I may be missing one, but I think that might be it. So yeah, that's that's at least seven characters that can duck the spit. So they kind of automatically make it a hard time for him. And in that case, good luck, basically. Um, so if you play one of them characters, learn your punish, learn the timing to duck the spit. If you don't play one of them characters, learn to, to hold forward one. All right, so yeah, good luck with that. We'll talk about how we can deal with forward one on the defensive side, actually. That, there's some other characters with different options. For a character with a different option, we've got Sub-Zero. I'm going to use him as an example, but there's a, I know that like Fujin, Rain could probably do this. I think you need a, a fast backdash for this to work. So Sub-Zero actually can backdash out of the down one and punishes down one with back three. So that becomes more threatening. It doesn't mean that he's helpless, so it's not the same as the Jackie scenario where you just can't use the string. You can still use the string, but you just got to play the game around it differently. So instead of doing down one there, oh yeah, it also punishes Kamar grab if he backdashes as well. So like it does string, does command grab. I'm pretty sure he can dash out of that. Yeah, so it punishes that. So what you do instead is if you think they're going to backdash, you do the string again, right? So, do the string. Yeah, okay. So, it catches them trying to punish, like, the down one or the grab instead. So, that's that's your option there. Um, well, there's that's your option as the cane player and as, like, the, the defensive backdashy character. Um, you also, on defense, you have a couple of options. Well, yeah, actually, you've got a couple of options. You can do... Flawless block here, alright? So you flawless block the down one. You flawless block the down one. You can punish the down one. Get combo. If you don't have a good up two, you can do up three. If you don't have a good up two, you can do up three. Hold on. If you don't good up two, you can do up three. See? Yeah, easy. Um, <clears throat> there are play around to this as well like he could delay his move after but then if he starts delaying his move you can just start swinging because he's given up those two frames to delay instead this is all like a little this get, this is where it gets a bit more advanced but most people are just going to end up in the loop of down one grab essentially but when you're against like better players you'll have to play around with delays and dealing with their back bash and stuff like that uh yeah i think that's you can also special cancel your down one, but if they flawless block the down one like that, they can't special cancel it, so you can't do like down one acid. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, and yeah, okay, there's one other thing that kind of screws up his offense here, but it's not about dealing with the strike, it's more about dealing with the grab, and I'll show you an example of that next. Characters with really fast back dashes on wake up totally mess up his, um, his knockdown game. So that is another thing that will contribute to a bad matchup for, against Kano. So we'll use Joker as an example here, right? So he's gonna do command grab, dash up forward one, but his forward one won't, won't reach, even if he commits to the dash afterwards. Joker's back dash too fast and too far. So he's out of there. And then he gets whatever conversion he wants like that. You see, you're taking damage for that. So this is what makes this a terrible matchup. So like, you, you can't you can't follow up your offense after you've hit them. You can't you can't even do this because he ducks that. 
So what you got left? Nothing. You just get chewed up. That's pretty much the way. I think Joker may actually be one of his worst matchups, you know, for these reasons. So he, yeah, he just he just messes them up. So yeah, this is like the the few things that you need to be able to give Kano a hard time. You need to be able to not allow him to follow up on his uh, offense on knockdown. You need to be able to optionally have the ability to be able to duck the spit. Uh, being able to move out of his offense after he's plus two is also an issue. And on top of that, I'd say zoning is relatively annoying for him if you've got like low profiling projectiles or a good counter to his knife. Like Katana's annoying because she can duck the spit and uh, reaction punish his um, knife toss. So yeah, keep all these things in mind. They're all annoying for him, but that doesn't really take away from the fact that he is still mad oppressive to like a very large portion of the cast. If you want to play him, just like I said, you know, just grab people until they believe forward ones can not come in, and then just keep playing that game on them over and over. Just go nuts with it. But yeah, that's that's pretty much Lord Kane in a nutshell. All right, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, subscribe. If you're somewhere in between, subscribe. Um, if you want to comment, like who you'd like me to do it about next, like just let me know in it. If you want to slag me off in the comments, feel free. Tell me why I'm an idiot and why you should be doing raw Kano ball at every opportunity. You know, just like how you should be doing raw death spin at every opportunity. Um, tell me, like, how you know, I know, X top players relative because you baked a cake for them on their 31st birthday and whatever tournament or whatever. Just, just let me know. All right. But yeah, if you want to watch a couple of, oh, there's a handful of uh, people that play Kano that are good with him that you can watch on the. Uh, on Twitch as well, or here, you could watch um, Sikanda555, he's pretty good with him. Rewind, World Class, Biohazard, another one. Uh, Biohazard Commander, I think you'll find it, CMNDR on uh, Twitch. Um, I play him a bit, so uh, you can catch him on my stream. I do play him a fair bit lately. Um, see the mighty unjust he's also good with him as well you can find him on twitch so yeah go check them out and yeah thank you again and i'll see you lot in the next one in it take care